The last conversation I had with Randy before he died was about the mystery of God, that thin veil between heaven and earth. Randy was ready to go, yet none of us were ready to let him go. In one of our last moments together, he told me something. He said, it may take some time, but if there's a way to communicate from the other side, I'll find it. Then I'll never forget these words. He said, keep your eyes open for a sign. He then encouraged me to keep writing. The next day, Randy fell into a long, deep sleep and soon after he died. It left me with so many questions, let alone bitterness and resentment towards God. Years later, with the help of my good friends, Andrew Jackson and John Osborne, I wrote a song about those last moments with Randy. A month after writing that song, the three of us boarded a plane to London. Andrew and I were scheduled to produce a live album for an English band. John called the night before and said he was coming with us. He felt a sense of urgency that something holy was gonna happen. We pondered this as we flew over the ocean through the night. What would this holy be, and why, and when? As we approached London, Andrew began to have chest pain, which he initially thought was heartburn. John, who happened to be the only medical doctor on the plane, ran some tests, realized Andrew was having a heart attack, and convinced the pilot to make an emergency landing at Heathrow Airport. EMTs flooded the plane to help Andrew just as he went into full cardiac arrest. Andrew was rushed to London's leading heart clinic, now in the hands of world-class surgeons. John and I waited for what seemed like hours. After doing everything they possibly could, the doctors informed us it was time to say goodbye. Later that night, through the pain and tears, I reflected on those moments that led to Andrew's passing. John's last minute decision to join us, John, the only medical doctor on that very plane, Andrew, surrounded by EMTs and placed into the hands of London's finest surgeons. One could say the stars were aligned for Andrew to be saved that night, yet he wasn't. It was Andrew's time. That can never take the sting away, nor answer the questions, or make the mourning process any easier. Yet somehow, it felt holy. That night, we saw that thin veil between heaven and earth, the one Randy spoke of years earlier. Andrew crossing from this life into the next, experiencing the wonder and all the mystery awaiting him on the other side. As I wrote this song with John and Andrew, just before our trip to London, we had no idea that it would not only be about Randy, but it would also be about Andrew. Randy's last words to me spoke of a sign. Moments before Andrew went into cardiac arrest, he looked up at me, he smiled, he lifted his hand, and he gave me a peace sign. Somehow in the mystery of life and death, I knew Andrew and Randy were together in that moment. <laughs>